What's going on guys and welcome today to Forza Horizon 5. Today we have a completely stock S14 here. This is actually going to be our first drift build here on the channel. So without any further ado, let's head into the festival here and take a look at some customization. All right guys, here we are in the upgrade shop. First thing I want to do is check conversions. There is no wide body kit on this car. We're not going to make this all wheel drive because it's a drift car, but I do want to take a look at some engine swap. Now I was hoping to find a K swap in here, but so far I do not see one. Uh, we have the RB, we have the four rotor, we have the turbo rally, we have the 2J I believe this is. Um, uh, a V8 and then maybe this is the 2J. I'm not sure. Is it 2J 3.2 or 3.0? I don't even know. I should know. I really should know this. Either way, I feel like the RB is the right fit. Staying in the Nissan family. I do like swapping my 240s. It just, it feels right to swap an S chassis. But anyway, let's head on into appearance as well. We got the C West kit returning once again. No other options, unfortunately. That's all right. We'll run that. It looks like we do have some new wings here, guys. Uh, this one, namely, I think wasn't in Horizon 4. It's pretty big. It's aggressive. We got this guy as well the big country labs uh could probably make that work with a different body kit but i think i'm all set i do like the wingless look a lot but i think honestly the stock wing is what does it best for me so i think we're gonna leave the stock wing on there rear bumper we got sea west as well gotta run the matching set with the skirts and I think that's gonna do it for customization, guys. It's looking really good on the body. Let's see what we got for wheels as well. Now tires, I think we're gonna leave, we're gonna try the drift tires and the drift diff. I haven't tried either of them yet. So we're gonna do the drift tire, the drift tires and the drift diff. Tire width, I don't know what I wanna do yet. I don't know how they feel. We'll probably have to come back in here. Wheels, let's take a look, see what we got. I'm sure you guys have seen all the wheels in the game, so I'm not gonna go through them. I'm just gonna pick one that I dig. These could be nice, maybe. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna throw these on. I have an idea for them. They look terrible right now, and I realize that, but give me a second. <laughs> let me let me see what I can think up. We'll run, should we run 18s? They kind of look better like this. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna run 18s for now, and then we're gonna go all the way wide with them. And then we're gonna lower the car. Head in here, we'll do brakes, obviously. It's a drift car, so we'll do all of that. Uh, drift springs. Okay, that'll get us some extra steering angle. It's looking pretty nice. Don't worry about the wheel color, guys. We'll fix that up in just a second. We'll do the roll bars, and we're going to gut it as well. Transmission. We're going to want all of these parts. We're going to want our clutch. Transmission. Oh, wait. Do I want a race to a 10-speed transmission? I don't know about that. I think we'll stick with a 6-speed. Yeah, we'll do the six speed drive line upgrade it why not differential now there's a drift diff as well as an off-road one um i don't really know what the difference is gonna be but we're gonna try the drift diff as well as the tires here right off the bat and now we just have some power to make so we got our intake we got our exhaust we got our cams we're gonna do valves bore it out a little bit and pistons and we're gonna see what we got for power now 563 see i was trying to go for something closer to 600 let's do the fuel first see i don't want to upgrade the turbos when i can do other things within the engine that'll make some more power but it's looking like we're gonna want a little bit more sauce out of this thing to hit 600 uh, oh 617 okay never mind i was just kidding we got 617 horsepower looking pretty good uh, at least for what I would go for on stock tires. It's actually maybe a little high, but I don't know how these drift tires are gonna feel. And now we gotta get these ugly wheel colors out of here. So the build upgrade wise is all set. We'll probably change a couple things as we drive it, see what we like and what we don't. Uh, but V1 looking pretty good as far as upgrades. So let's get these wheel colors out of here, head into designs and paints. Let's go with, honestly, it looks pretty good in red, but maybe we'll leave it black. We'll do the wheels first, group one. And then the outer lip, we're gonna make chrome. It's just a big outer lip. Maybe that's what I don't like about it. We might need to change these wheels. Mm, no, they look pretty clean. Ah, that looks really good. That looks really good. All right, we're gonna leave these and then we're gonna paint the calipers. Is there no calipers? Oh, there they are. I'm like, where are they? Uh, we're gonna do these red. We're gonna do these bright red. That you see them, see them under there. That looks really nice. That looks really nice. Or should we do white? White might look even cleaner. Ooh, that's a hard, that's a hard choice. White's cleaner, but red, I don't know. There's just something about the red. Let's do it. Let's run the red calipers. Uh, and I think the rest of this, you know what? We're going to do a custom black color. Can't be running, can't be running stock colors out here. We're going to go here. We're going to do our flake. Oh, our low light and our highlight are in the same bars this time. That's really nice, actually. Uh, and then the highlight and bring it down into this range. Look at that color. Look at that color, boys. Ooh, that's so sick. That's so sick. I don't like the calipers anymore though. Oh no, I just got rid of the color, damn it. There we go. Right, I'm gonna save this color. And then the calipers, I do think white or black, honestly, is probably the call. 
we'll do we'll do white and then we'll do some window tint as well and there we go guys i think our looks are all set let's get this thing ripping all right guys here we go first run in our rb swapped 240 let's see what we can do drift tires drift diff totally stock tune right out the upgrade right out the upgrade shop this thing feels pretty good man definitely gonna want to tune it up a little bit first and second are really short i do like how the tires feel a ton like a lot i really like these drift tires guys the diff doesn't feel bad either so we're gonna take a look at the tune real quick kind of see what's going on see if we can give this thing a little bit of a baseline similar to what we would have done in horizon 4 and see if we can improve on this thing even more honestly like i said guys this thing right out the gate is really driving well without a tune it's super smooth just kind of freestyling around the festival Damn, I'm really impressed. This thing's sweet, and it's looking really good, too, so... All right, let's hop into the tune and see what we can do. All right, guys, here we are driving some test laps around the festival. I think I got this S14 set up pretty well. I'm super stoked to take this thing around the map and see what kind of spots we can find. I do want to show you guys the tune. I'm going to post the tune, and I'll let you guys know in the description where to find it and all of that, what the name is. Uh, but I do want to quickly go through the tune real quick and just show you guys what we have going on before we go look for some new spots, so... Uh, just real quickly guys into our tune here we got our tire pressure down pretty low gearing you guys know is custom kind of for the car and the powertrain alignment we got our front camber all the way up rear is still 1.5 we got our toe all the way out up front none in the rear caster 7 roll bars are pretty low as well 14 in the front one in the rear springs and damping we left no aero brake is 35 percent and then our differential is 85 85 so if any of you guys are really good at tuning drift cars let me know what i can do better down in the comments i'd greatly appreciate it all right first things first we got to head on out of here and we got to find some new drift spots because I don't want to drift the festival for my whole life. Uh, I did see a city over this way. Looks like there's going to be some really cool drift spots around here. So I say we head over here and we explore this city for a little bit today. Ripping the drift car out to the city. Like I said, guys, this is my first time really looking for drift spots on the map. The city's pretty new to me. I really haven't spent too much time looking at new locations or spots or anything. I really, I just downloaded the game, grinded out some money enough to do a couple drift builds today. And then uh, I went to bed so I could get up and record this video. So. Uh, I haven't really had too much time to explore the map or see really what it has to offer. I do want to say it's absolutely beautiful, especially the colors around sunset, sunrise. This game is absolutely stellar as far as it looks, so I'm really happy with that. Um, even, even just driving around now, look at how open and beautiful this game is. It really is. It's something else. Uh, so I'm super stoked with how these cars feel just driving around the map, let alone drifting and racing and all that. We can try and get this thing loose real quick for you guys. See some twisties, gotta hit them. So this car definitely not meant to be a high speed drifter. Like I said, we're chilling around 600 horsepower. So it's not gonna be, whoa, is this a stadium? The hell, that's sick. I'm gonna check this thing out. I see like an entrance up here. I know we're on the way to the city, but I'm curious. Big entry, woo! A little sloppy, we hit a sign on the way in. Is this a freaking football stadium, dude? Let's go. Are you kidding me? This is sick. Oh, uh, we're going to play some games out here, boys. They added a freaking Rocket League stadium. Okay. Well, if you guys are curious if it can hold the drift in the grass. Oh, there's a soccer ball. No way. Let's go. You think I won't? You think I won't? My ball. I'm taking it out to the road, dude. Builds drift car, gets distracted by soccer ball. Come on. You got this. Worst Rocket League player ever. I told you guys I'm bad at Rocket League. Come on. What? Oh, I can't bring it out to the road? That's some garbage. Well, anyway, that's cool. We got ourselves a nice stadium now. I'm sure that'll be fun for mini games and custom map building and all of that. We're going to keep heading towards the city, though. See what kind of drift spots we can find. I'm sure there's more on the map. Let me know you guys' favorite drift spot on the map down in the comments below, too. I greatly appreciate it. And if you want to show us some spots and get some tandems, make sure you guys are following up on Twitch. There's going to be a link in the description below. In the dirt in my drift car, dude. Why so much dirt? All right, boys. Rolling up on the city. Let's see what kind of spots we can find. We're just going to freestyle around here for a little bit. Hopefully my frame rate doesn't get tanked. Here with all these buildings. Just a big entry. Go this way. Head to the right. Okay. Let's see what's down here. Oh, everything's everything's twisty. Just gonna freestyle the city. Sorry if I'm talking away from the mic. I'm all sorts of focused, dude. 
Just gonna freestyle. Oh, let's go. First setup of Horizon 5, feeling great already. Really aggressive transition, super fun. I love the tandem in this thing. I need to lower the braking pressure a little bit, I think, for tandems. Still getting used to it. This thing feels pretty high power, not gonna lie, for just 600. Might wanna lower it just a touch. We will see. I do kinda wanna try stock tires for a comparison as well. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right now, I just wanna drive this thing a little bit, get nice and comfortable with it, cause it's feeling great. It really is. It's pretty high power, you gotta be careful. Don't wanna mat it necessarily, cause when it makes boost, oh boy does it make boost. Here we go. Oh yeah, no, 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 a little too much. Too much sauce. There's definitely sections to be made around here, man. There's definitely sections to be made. All right, let's turn right here. See where this takes us. The roads are straightening out. Just ripping the freestyle. Can we get a backy? Nope. All right, let's send this. This looks fast and aggressive. Can we link it? We can. Yeah, boys, into the tunnel. Wow, it's dark. Can't see. Holy shit. Oh, man. We saved it. That was not clean. That was not clean. Let's go. Oh, my frame rate. Going up the hill. Let's go. Ripping around this way. Oh, hell yeah, that was sick. That was sick. Okay. Oh, I like that section of road a lot. That's really cool. I want more of that, dude. I want more of that. Damn, dude, absolutely ripping up this city right now in this S14. Super fun car. I'm stoked for you guys to try the tune. Let me know what you think. I know I'm I, I know I'm a car X player, okay? So my Forza tunes probably probably not as good as they could be. And I'm definitely not pretending to be a pro. I just wanted to build this thing, show you guys what I came up with, you know? So if you guys, uh, if you guys are Forza Tuning pros, please let me know down in the comments what I can do better to improve this thing and make it an even better drift car, because I think it's a really nice start right now. And I would love to take this thing to the next level, get even smoother with it, keep working on my tuning. Oh no, we're gonna do a lot more drill, drift builds. Imagine if I could talk and drive at the same time. Getting better as we go for sure. First one's not gonna be the best one, but it is a lot of fun. It is a ton of fun. So I think what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna try and find one more drift location because I did see some more twisty roads on the map that I wanted to check out. As much as I love this city, I do wanna check out at least one more location in this S14 before I let you guys go to see what we can do. So here we are pulling up to city number two. Probably not as twisty as the first one, but I did see some nice twisty roads around here and we got the nice beach setting. So I did wanna check out this section up here and see what kind of sections we can link let's see is this all dirt dude all the best twisty roads are dirt damn i thought for sure this would be pavement man all right so i'm gonna need <laughs> i'm gonna need some help from you guys i want to know what the best drift spots in this game are because obviously we have we have the city that we were just in but i'm running into this problem a lot where it just seems like most of the best drift roads are dirt which is kind of a bummer. So maybe uh, maybe they'll bring some, some construction crews out here and, and pave some of these roads, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna need some help from you guys, either in the comment section or on Twitch, to figure out exactly what the best drift locations are. Because I really want to slide this car. I just can't seem to find uh, sections that I'm really gonna be stoked on. So let's, let's see. I see some twistier roads up this way, I suppose. Maybe there's some kind of section we can make out of this. It just seems like it's going to be a lot of high speed, high speed sections with these more open, big curvy roads. So like I'm seeing this one here, is this going to be dirt too? It'd be easier to see on the map. Yeah, see this one's, even this one's dirt. Like all the little, the curvy ones are dirt, so that's interesting. That's interesting. Maybe there's like a crate section or a drift park that I don't know about yet. Definitely let me know if there is, because I want to slide this thing. This is all dirt in here. Where's all the drift spots, though? Where's all the drift spots, though? Getting some nice some nice road drifting in the dirt just a little bit. It's all right. I'll buff out. Just a little, 
Just a little rock chips. Here we go. We'll just party freestyle out here, dude. Who cares? Who cares? Look at this thing. Are we ripping? Are we ripping, boys? Hell yeah. That's all dirt, too? Are you kidding me? Damn, dude. What's with all this dirt? And I know it's Mexico. I guess that makes sense. But I thought they'd give us some more drip spots. All right, we'll find them. Maybe I'm just being grumpy. All right, guys. So we found ourselves a nice roundabout to end the day here. The S14 is absolutely killing it. Like I said, guys, if there's something that you would change about the tune, let me know what you would change. I'd love to try it out. I definitely don't think that I am uh, by any means a tuning pro here in Forza, or at least not yet. I definitely plan on getting better. So if you guys do try out the tune, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If there's something you change, let me know as well. And if you made it this far, I genuinely appreciate you watching. If you guys did enjoy the video or found it useful at all, feel free to leave a like down below. Subscribe for more just like it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.